the signing, the celebration, to give that to and then a carefully managed press conference with government leaders where reporters only got to ask two questions. But that didn't stop any evaluate leader Nellie Cornier from speaking her mind. Well, there could be a lot in the, in the agreement in principle that we would like to have had. The agreement gives Nyavaluit a range of lawmaking powers. It could start traditional healing programs, perform marriages, open schools and universities, even launch social housing. But there are some crucial issues that still need to be resolved. Cornier says they need to negotiate who controls resources in the Beaufort Sea. As soon as possible, get a stronger, clearer uh, negotiation on what happens offshore. So would Premier Bob McLeod. So obviously elections are getting in the way, but uh, that's something that we all want to get going on. Enable the Inuvialuit to... Although the Aboriginal Affairs Parliamentary Secretary heard these concerns, he kept to his script. This is a great milestone, a great celebration for the community and uh, Nellie and her team. In addition to settling offshore concerns, negotiators still need to work out who will pay for what in the new Inuvialuit government. They'll set an ambitious timeline. Negotiators hope to complete the final agreement as early as March. David Thurton, CBC News, Inuvik. No, probably not.